safe and effective. Mm. What does that mean? You know, there is no such thing. Um, and um, so, you know, again, the authorities are allowed to to make catchy slogans, whether they're scientifically true or not, it seems to be irrelevant. But people like me who try to explain the nuances of the science, you know, get get hounded out of existence. Their feeling was that nothing should get in the way of, of their ability to, to force 100% of the population of Australia uh, to have these um, new technologies. That, that, that's what we've seen in the evidence we've been able to collect so far and what they were thinking behind the scenes when they decided to, to destroy my career. Governments, again, are, are just completely committed to keep giving to, to Pfizer and Moderna till the cows come home uh, because of all these outrageous, massive advanced contracts they sign. So they're not going to admit their mistake and say, oh, actually, we we probably should switch to a protein-based vaccine right now because they'll still have to keep paying Moderna and Pfizer, you know, God knows mm -hmm. till when, which uh, billions and billions, I think we're up to $18 billion or something now. I mean, it's it's outrageous. In fact, the companies responsible for developing these, like Moderna in their early regulatory documents, uh, referred to them as genetic vaccines and gene therapies. Uh, but somehow they realised that wasn't a good thing uh, to let the public know that. And so they they suddenly changed course uh, overnight and started to, to say that, you know, anyone who called these gene therapies or genetic vaccines, gene therapies or genetic vaccines, you know, should be struck off, um, should be uh, isolated and uh, should have their careers destroyed because they didn't like the public to know that that was a scientific fact. People don't understand statistics that well. So everyone says, oh, a 50% reduction in risk. Oh, that's massive. But they don't tell you, well, your risk was one in a million and now it's one in two million. Isn't that fantastic? You tell the truth and you try to convince people with science. You don't lie to them. You don't trick them. That's, that, isn't, that should be never be a principle of public health because it always backfires, because people will always work out one day that you lie because you cannot deny science. So what the hell were those you know, doctors and scientists lying to me about? And there goes trust forever never to be regained.